All right, so we have 1600 level. We're gonna change the color. Well, you know what? This color scheme is okay. You can kind of see the different colors. Maybe we go like blue. No, no, no. Like red on this? I don't know. All right, it's fine. There we go. All right. So, for me, is very good on this map. Italian's also very good. I would say that Burmese is probably better if the game goes long, but Italians has better timings because of the cheaper upgrades. So cheaper, cheaper ballistics, cheaper chemistry, and then of course cheaper age ups helps Italians a lot. But Burmese, they do have free wood upgrades, which um, is arguably better. And then the cheap monk techs should help a lot. Obviously, you don't want to go a Rambai in this matchup. Um, so what do you do against Genoese Crossbowman? That's the real question. Probably, like, oh, maybe you, you guys know each other. That's cool. Um, maybe something like the um, Onager or Bombard Cannon. Something like that could be pretty good. That's probably what I would think of trying to get to. If the opponent goes Condo Tierro, like, if you just blind go Skirms, he will go Condo Tierro and kill you. So, I think you, you do want to have some kind of unit as well. Our Onager or Rambai? Is it good, though? I don't really see why you would make a Rambai here. Um, I guess if you had like a ram by Hussar, you kind of kill all potentially, but Genoese Crossbone are really good though. So I don't know. You have to respect that unit. Uh, and of course, Italians, they do have cheaper Bombard Cannons, but that's where your Redemption Monks come in. So Redemption Monks is kind of necessary late game and you might as well have them as a Burmese anyways. Yeah, we got lots of chats chats in the chat um isn't this the case where you go trush no nah, i think both sieves are fine i think italians can definitely definitely be okay and so well, of course burmese i think if the game goes long i think burmese is just better there like their economy is really good in the super super late game they have super hussars which have bonus damage against archers or they do extra damage against archers with the uh, unique tech. So yeah, Genoese Crossbowman kill you. But I mean, what you your game plan can be is keep the Italians off stone. If you keep him from taking this, yeah, he has this, this stone. You can't do anything. Oh, he's just going to go straight for it. Um, if you keep him off this stone, he's he has enough for like two castles. If you can tra trap down one, you can't really go Genoese Crossbowman with one castle. Or at least it's really hard to sustain them. So... Yeah, I think you want to play map control as Burmese here for sure. And if you have map control, you're going to prevent the Italians from coming forward early imp, like to hit their timings. So Italians, as we were talking about, they're very good with their timings, with the, the cheaper age up. So if you just have map control, have units on the map, even if he's up faster and he pushes you back, it's going to take time. You got like buildings forward, you have units, he can't really just send siege across the map. So it's going to take him time. And then by the time he gets to your base, you should be more ready for whatever he goes for. Um, that's the idea. I think it's good. And if you take keep him from taking stone, he can't go. He can't really go for Genoese. Uh, it's kind of weird that he's going so heavy on stone here. But yeah, I guess he's up. He's going to have way more stone than he needs, though. Like, actually way more. I don't know, really. It, oh, he's, he's going to drop this on your face, then. That That's the only way this makes sense, why he has so many on gold or on stone. He has loom, too. Yeah, he's coming forward. Actually, he's late, though. He needs to go now. Yeah, he's going to go now. He's late, though. Yeah, just a little bit. He needed to go when this was, like, 30%. He's going to get here... 30 seconds late. Let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. 
1426. Should have put it closer forward, but yeah, this is like 30 seconds late. Okay, this, don't build gates unless you have to. They're more expensive than everything else. Yeah, he should have just built two houses here and here. He did not need to make all of this. Anyways, let's look at um, look at purple here. Walling it? Yeah, I, I don't know if that's necessary, but I guess. Instead of using palisades, I would just make some houses here for sure. Maybe palisade this because it's long, but like you're palisading or you're housing anyways. This, these palisades were just a waste of money. Um, I don't think your build was too bad. Let's go back. Like you had this, or did you fail in the in the feudal age? Stable blacksmith. Uh, I don't really see what's wrong with your feudal age. I don't, this is just 26 plus 2, or 26 villagers plus 2, it's 27 plus, you're just playing standard, I don't, I don't really know actually what the problem is unless I'm missing something. I think uh, you played it as close to perfect as you can get with just one second idle TC. I mean, you could <laughs> can always do slightly better, but uh, okay, I don't know. Uh, ooh, losing a vill, feels bad, man. And yeah, all of this extra walling doesn't even matter because he just breaks the palisade. That's why palisade walls are so bad. It needs to be full full house walled or full stone walled. Even stone walls. Just like stone wall, it's fine. Gonna go for monks, which is okay. But guess what? Building the monasteries out here when he can just get in it is a problem. One second out of the time is pretty darn good. Uh, well, at 1600, it's expected though on arena when there's no pressure. Dude, just put the monastery, put the relic in the monastery. What's going on here? Oof. Yeah, this is this is a bit of a disaster. So I think you really wanted to stonewall this. Kind of a crazy play by the opponent, but you're taking a lot more damage than you should. But well, your fill count's still looking good. Still looking very good. I would definitely recommend getting loom though. Okay. Ah, you gotta have them all going at the same time. Do you not have? S oh no, you have sanctity. Okay. Scorpion. One scorpion's not gonna do anything. Oh, he actually killed a unit though. That's good. Okay. I'm gonna siege workshop stall stop all of this. Yeah. It's definitely good. You can go full monk, but siege workshop, completely fine. Although you gotta be worried about the fast imp behind this. He Italians is gonna click up. It costs him 850 res to go up, but uh, he will do it. Oh, what are the petard? Dude, petards? Oh, my God. He's going to blow up his own guy. Oh, oh man. You could have used the petard to kill his petard. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, he was so close. The splash damage is really low on petards, though, so it just didn't hit. That was funny. He definitely should have just used them down here, but uh, all right. Okay, you're kind of over making. So, I, like, two scorpions is enough to push him back. So why why do we need five scorpions? Like, if you're not if you're worried, you can make just a mangonel or something. Like two scorpions and a mangonel, it's good. Five scorpions is a little too bit too much. And yeah, opponent's gonna go up. That's what we're worried about. And you're you're going like big TCs. Well, we'll see how fast he can push. He's got the position. This is what I'm saying, like, map control is kind of important, though. So, back to Feudal Age. You went for scouts, right? So, how come you didn't have scouts to stop this? Let's take a look. Okay. okay. You kill his guy, right? Oh, you're chasing him. Okay. Yeah, what was up with this? Oh, you just... Uh, you had guys... You had enough guys here, but you just didn't have them in the position. You weren't watching for it. If you were watching for this... Man, three scouts gets on this. It, there's no way. What you do is you just send your vills. You got the three scouts on this. You send your vills. Deny this. The game is over. So... You have to be watching for that. You had the scouts, just not in the right position. I see. Um... 
Oh, opponent's adding cavalry? What? No way. What is he doing? He's making yeah. knights? What is he... Is he making... Maybe he's making light cap? What? Um... This is weird. That's so expensive for him. He's like one TC economy and he's he's doing light cav with all the upgrades. With all the fixins. Well, your eco is so far ahead. There's no way he's gonna have enough guys, right? You should have been making more monks though, I think. But honestly, like this is a lot of scorpions, but scorpions suck though, so yeah, I don't know. Wait, why are we making a range? I guess you want to go skirms or something, but uh, that's not good. Saving gold to buy food for light cav. Yeah, yeah. Well, Burmese definitely have the, the options to deal with this. Ah, yeah, you're getting baited into going for skirms or something. Okay, well, light cav, I mean, you, you do have enough. But like, unless you just like completely fail the micro. Got to fight under the TC though. Oh, okay, that was. Oh, oh, I guess your TC is no more though. We needed some conversions though. Uh, yeah, that, that was a bit of a fail. As you can see, scorpions suck. Scorpions are so bad. You got completely caught off guard, but you definitely could have had a lot more stuff here. Um. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, you still teched into the skirms. Ay ay ay. Yeah, you just got baited. Having a bit more scouting on the map would have been good. You definitely could have scouted this. You had a stable too, so you could have had a, a uh, could have had a scout on the field. Would have been good. Um. Yeah. Wait, did we did we have the imp in the forward TC or something initially? No, no, no. It was it was always in the back TC, right? Yeah, yeah. We had wheelbarrow in this TC. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it was still shining because it was wheelbarrow that was being gotten. Hey, this is working because the opponent is like one TC economy. So, I mean, what is he gonna do? Yeah, like you can kill his light cap with skirms because you're so far ahead economically. So this is this is why switching to light cap or like doing light cap, it's not good. Way too expensive. Yeah, it kind of accomplished what he wanted it to do, but that's not that's not enough. He lost his trebs now, and now it's just game over for red. Absolutely game over. So it just shows how booming, kind of good. If you're gonna go for this imp play, you can never take a bad fight, ever. You take one bad fight, the game is over. Like, yeah, the game is over. Um, I'm not really sure what we were supposed to learn here, though. I guess we, we learned from Red's point of view. Uh, yeah, booming is good. And one TC play is very difficult to pull off. So yeah, well played. I guess we'll take a look at the statistics since we're here. Very far ahead. All right, nice, oops. Yeah, super far ahead. Still unable to learn. Learn what though? If you submit a win, there's not as much to learn. Because you, you kind of played played well. Definitely could have had a scout on the map to see exactly what the opponent was doing. But uh, other than that, I mean, it worked pretty well. Yeah, Palisade Wall is pretty bad. Gotta make house walls or stone walls against that. Palisade Wall barely buys you any time. <laughs> 